Let's have a look at the outer join. The outer join consists of two types of outer joints. It's left and right outer join. We have these entities. We have student and we have class. And student consists of an ID and a name and then a relation that means a foreign key to the class entity which has this uh, primary key, class ID and then a class name. This is our data and uh, as we can see we now have um, a third class named frontend and if you look at the student data you will see that none of the students are enrolled in uh, this frontend class. So that means we have a student who are not in the class that is Dan and then we have frontend that does not contain any students. The students can be illustrated like this in a circle when we use the Venn diagram. And then we have the class which contains the three classes. And then we can use this uh, illustration to show what is going on when we use the join. Because now the two uh, entities are joined together and then when we use join we can see where the the product or the output will fall into these circles all in the common area. So I want to know everything about all students. That means I want to know if they are in a class and which class they are in. So if I uh, use the left outer join, I get everything on the left side. That means I get the databases and backend because there are some students in these two classes and then I have the front end on the right side that is not uh, there's no um, students enrolled in the front end class and then we have Dan and Dan is uh, he's kind of outside because he's not in the class but he's still on the left side because he's a part of students so the query would look like this we have a select we select our student name and class name from student and then we get uh, we, we make a join we make the relation with the left outer join from class that means we want to join class on student so um, so we use the the primary key on class class ID and equals that to the class ID on the student that means we have this query result that's this data set and uh, as we can see then below has uh, has none uh, class name that means you get this null and null is not a uh, is not nothing it's not uh, it's not a it is actually nothing it's not uh, zero it's not an empty string it is actually nothing so we get this picture now that all the students they are in a class or perhaps not in a class so let's have a look at the right side because I want to know everything about all classes. I want to know if they are in a class or I want to know if there are any students in a class. So as we can see here, we have the right side, which is the databases and the back end and the front end as I should have made the front end white like I did with Dan before because front end is kind of outside because there's no uh, students enrolled in the, in the front end. And then we have in the middle, uh, Nils, John, Maria and Tina because they are enrolled into databases and backend. So the query result looks like this, same as before, but now we use a right outer join. And the same, um, we use the same columns, the same, um, that means student name and class name. We use the same table student and we use the same um, join expression. That means we want to join class with uh, using the uh, the primary key on class and the, the foreign key on the student. So we get this uh, result that uh, we have the student names, those who are enrolled in a database and backend, and then we have the front end as the last one, and then we have, as a result of no student names, uh, we have a null. So what if we take both sides? What, what, what if we take, uh, we want to know everything about everybody and every class. Then we have to use the full outer join. The full outer join works like this. 
like before, instead of left or right, we take everything into consideration. And we use the same um, columns and the same tables and the same join expression. And now we have this result that those four that are in a, in a class, they are listed. And then we have Dan, who has not a class. And then we have the front end, who doesn't have any students. So next, I will talk about subtractions from join. That means if I want to have the left side, but without anything in the middle, and the right side without anything in the middle, and then I can also have a full outer join without anything in the middle.